Hey guys, welcome back to 30 till 30. Um, when I came up with the concept for this, I did what I always do when I brainstorm a project. I attached a whole lot of really big and lofty ideas to it. And it wasn't until I started to hash out the details and crunch the numbers that I realized not only had I bitten off more than I could chew, but I had figuratively misplaced my dentures and was having premonitions of starving in a steakhouse. It was that deep. Mm -hmm. uh, the day I was supposed to post the video, the first one, um, I ran into a whole slew of issues that I didn't plan on. A severe sinus attack, a sick three-year-old, and rendering and transcoding lag time. Needless to say, the first video was two and a half hours late going up. And my excuses, harrowing as they were, were excuses all the same. Um, I hadn't planned well and I missed my deadline, period. I mean, I had a rough plan mapped out in my head. I know, you didn't. Shut up. Um, but it wasn't detailed enough to account for some pretty important things like where I was going to shoot, um, how I was going to shoot myself by myself and in focus, um, and uh, when I was going to do all of this goal achieving between work and Layla, um, <laughs> how I was going to edit all of this and then pull off a major social media campaign, um, all of this with less than a week of pre-production and barely a general understanding of how YouTube actually works. What was I thinking? You weren't thinking. Who asked you, okay? I'm not gonna front, I panicked, okay? The Friday before the Tuesday launch, that obnoxious voice that we all keep hearing, sup? Also known as my ego, flooded my heart, and my mind would dread and doubt. Yep. I had told so many people about this project and what I had planned on doing that I was actually paralyzed by the fear of failure. Um, this time the scenario was Stallone in nature in the sense that Judge Dredd was upon me and I could sense the onslaught of all the criticism that my fellow man was capable of doling out. Um, and I mean, I shuddered at the thought of it cutting me down. I vividly imagined even the closest of my friends ignoring my video in their timeline. Um, like here she goes trying to sell that living in now shit again, or, um, just completely clicking like without even giving it a thought at all or actually watching the video. Um, and actually between the two, I prefer the latter, but I digress. Um, a year or two ago, that fear would have probably discouraged me from even taking baby steps towards putting this project together. And then cognitive dissonance um, would have sealed the deal by getting all warm and cozy with my subconscious. Um, but this time, oh, I caught my ego in the act and I shut it up. Hey, you heard me, zip it, you'll be back. I refocused that energy and borrowed the perspective of the future self that I've always held in such high esteem. Um, the future self that had the courage and the calm to take on all of her goals. And um, that self has always been there, but I didn't really see her in the mirror until now. Instead of recoiling at the thought of failure, I embraced it. I asked myself, why was my brain so programmed to assume that I would fail? Why was it that I was so scared? Is it because I truly felt incapable of completing the task? No. Um, is it because I've always failed in the past? No. Um, and then it hit me. You'd have to actually try um, to fail. And I had never really tried. Um, and at that point, that's when I just said Fuck it, and then I hit record. Um, and in this process so far, I've already encountered a lot of false starts and um, a certain degree of failure, but I'm okay with that. I've learned so much about myself in the past week that it's more, it's been more than worth it. And um, all of the fears that I had and that I still catch myself having are just imaginary scenarios that can't even play out unless I do the work and follow through with the project. Um, and even if people shut me down, ignore me, or mock me, 
I will have benefited from this experience all the same. Um, it's crazy. I, I haven't been on camera for the purpose of showcasing myself like this in years. And I have the nerve to call myself an actress. Um, I had to break free of trying to find the perfect scenario and understand that really the only opportunities that are out there are the ones that I create for myself. Um, so although not everything has come together the way I had hoped it would, it is still in fact coming together. Um, I don't have a million views yet, but I got my first like. And Google Analytics, it wasn't a, a self-click, I, I promise you. You guys should read all the small print and shit. That's, it's crazy, okay? And um, re-watching the video today, I really encouraged myself to take my own advice. And the me that I was is dying right now before your and my very eyes. Week one, guys. Done. Um, hold on, wait, hold on. Have you accepted the challenge yet? The hashtag 30 till 30 challenge, man. Have you done it? Where them goals at? I want to hear about them. Man, you better comment, email, DM, tag, post, whatever. Hashtag 30 till 30. I want to find out, are you guys doing what you're supposed to be doing? Man, I'm not doing this on my own, so you all better get it together. I mean, reach out, man. Help a sister out. Embrace, man. Embrace, engage, enhance. We're doing all that together, I hope. Hey, Lauren, this is your ego here. Who, who are you talking to? You know you're doing this by yourself, right? I'm going to get rid of you one Ain't day. Gonna I swear subscribe. to God. Okay, you know. I'm just... Hey, where, where are you going? Hey, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't turn it off.